Hi everyone, Monia Thibault with Buckskin Revolution and I have just moved in to a new studio space for Buckskin Revolution. The first time I've ever had a dedicated physical space for Buckskin Revolution, which is super exciting. Just finished a video giving you a little behind the scenes tour of the studio and the things I'm working on here. But I also wanted to share that when I moved in, I discovered that there was a little flaw with the space which is that the screws holding the doorknob on are too small and they pop right out through the doorknob. So hardware stores were closed. It was Labor Day when I was working on this and I didn't have capacity to go out and get bigger screws, but what is Buckskin Revolution about if not ingenuity and finding ways to make the things that you need with the things you have available, right? Well, what have I got available here at Buckskin Revolution? A whole lot of amazing leather. So I'm going to take you through the way I am going to do basic home repair, in this case fixing a non-functional door handle with some bark tan deer hide, because you know, why wouldn't I? Which reminds me of one of my favorite road tip stories. I was on a trip with a couple friends and we were driving to a primitive skills gathering in Arizona called Winter Camp. And the rubber had come off of the clutch pedal on my car. It was an old beater car. And so that meant that sometimes while you were letting the clutch out, your foot would just slip off of it and, and it would release too quick and the car would sputter and die. So in order to give it more grip so that wouldn't happen, I wrapped a bunch of buckskin thong around the clutch pedal so that you could push on it without sliding off. My friend thought it was hilarious and was telling everyone at the gathering how I had fixed my car with buckskin, which was a bit of a stretch, but still, it definitely did the job. So today, fixing a door handle with bark tan leather, because you knew a video like this would be coming, right? So these are a couple of lovely, flexible, softened bark tanned elk hides, and they still have some crunchy places along the edges where they were so dry that they didn't fully get the tannins in there. And so they're a little bit stiff and a little bit of rawhide in the middle. Not so great for leather. Perfect for what I need them for now. So I'm just going to nip off a little bit of the crunchy bits here. Go basically making a wide washer. So I'm just cutting two circles out of the stiffest part of the hide a good deal wider than the hole in the door handle. So there's one. Another good crunchy bit. Oh yeah, this is perfect. And now I need to punch a hole for the screw to go through. So I've got my little handy dandy hole puncher and plastic mallet and pad for punching on so I don't damage my beautiful freshly refurbished desk. like that. Now I just thread the screw through the hole and put the door handle back together with that so that the stiff leather will not let the screw pull through the larger hole on the door handle. Kind of got to hold it on the back side to make sure that it stays in place. So voila, functional door handle that is not going anywhere, fixed with bark tanned alkyde and mighty fine looking to boot if I do say so myself. So there you have it, home repair with naturally tanned leather 101. Probably wouldn't recommend it for plumbing, but you know, go crazy and uh, report back. Thanks so much, everyone. Also, please check out my website, www.buckskinrevolution.com and the fall 2020 online skills gathering from Buckskin Revolution. Even if you are watching this well after the fact, there are other skills gatherings online at Buckskin Revolution Academy. The new online skills learning forum that I am putting together that I am super excited about.
So check it out. Support me on Patreon if you like what I'm doing and want to be a bigger part of it and making it happen. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining the revolution, everyone.